reindeer herders have been uh, uh, telling to me that Matti, if we could pay, that could be this kind of the best possible basis to face. The worst uh, scenario, it's for us that now when we had a snow cover, a snow, snow cover on the ground, if we now get poor rain coming on the snow, it means that the reindeer food, it's going to be in the ice box. It can't, reindeer can't dig the lichen on the, uh, on the, from the ground or the food from the ground through ice. That's the worst thing what could happen for us during the winter time of the climate change. Uh, they already have been in separation and now they took them out. We have to give a reindeer extra feed, extra, we have to organize extra feeding to, keep, to give them help to pass for the better days. I think that could be one of the, one of the things that we have already been planning. So the Finnish Meteorological Institute has made research that show us that mean temperatures have increased one degree and a half in Lapland over the past 150 years. And they have also made models that predict that in the future, under the high emission scenario, the temperatures actually, we speak in average of course, at midwinter are going to increase between four and 10 degrees. So all this is going to have a huge impact of course on the snow cover. And we are going to have fewer and fewer days with snow cover between 20 and 30 percent less in northern part of Lapland. If reindeer cannot recover from a bad winter, when snow conditions have been so difficult, so how can they make it in summer if there is the heat, increased heat, increased insect harassment, but also drought? Because the drought will also affect, you know, the, the fodder quality. And for instance, uh, in, in autumn time, there might be less mushrooms available for reindeer. And those are very important for winter approaching precisely. Of course, we might consider that reindeer are quite resilient. They have been so far, what we have observed since Ice Age, for instance, that it can adapt to very drastic conditions. But now the changes are too rapid and there are too many things. There are the snow conditions which have changed, the insect harassment, the heat, the drought, and also the growing season, which has become longer, that is true, but the vegetation in the tundra, like lichen-rich species, have started to decline and there are more woody plants, like shrubs, and like trees, like willow, elder, and those are, are replacing precisely this, uh, this food that reindeer were used to forage. <laughs> 